day after a shooting near La Follette High School, school safety remains top of mind. This comes as school board members are making recommendations about the program involving police officers in schools known as EROs. They unanimously recommended this week to keep those officers in Madison schools. News 3's Rose Schmidt explains. Right after a shooting near La Follette High School, we spoke with parents who were scared and confused, but called to action. This is starting to happen too much, so. La Follette students were greeted with metal detector wands as they walked into school Thursday morning. Neighbors in the area told us students often fight off campus, but there are questions about who is keeping tabs on them. Shootings happen in the community at an alarmingly high rate. ERO officers can't go to all of them. Dean Loomis chairs the committee examining the role of police officers, or EROs, in schools. They spent more than a year trying to decide whether to keep those officers in Madison high schools, including La Follette. We heard very loudly and clearly and thoughtfully from uh, strong community advocates that claimed that uh, the presence of officers in school impacted their, their children, and all of them made it very clear they were all students of color. The committee is defining the role of Madison police in schools. The EROs are not there to police behavior. Making a total of 15 recommendations for officers in the program. Teachers can't call them in to their classroom to control an unruly uh, student. That's not proper. We have support staff to do that. Dean says in a perfect world, officers wouldn't be needed in schools at all. And in the long run, they'd like to stop students before they reach the prison pipeline. That's a real thing. And we want to stop that. We'll deal with behavior. A little fight happens. We'll deal with that. The president of La Follette's Booster Club declined my request for an on-camera interview, but she says she would like to see more EROs in the school. The shooting yesterday is still under investigation, but Madison police say they are making progress. No arrests have been made. Rose Schmidt reporting tonight. Rose, thank you. So